Saba Stories Nutcracker Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! Once upon a time, a happy family lived together in a distant city. In this happy family, there was a brother and sister named Sarah and Robert. Sarah was a very kind girl. Sarah and Robert's uncle was a toy maker. Every year on New Year's Eve, Uncle William came to them and brought them beautiful gifts. Every year he made beautiful toys and brought them gifts. Toys that were very beautiful and looked completely natural. Sarah had kept all the toys neatly in her closet since she was a child. Some soldiers, a monkey, a wizard, a little rabbit and a red bird and some other toys. But his brother Robert didn't take care of his toys at all and he kept knocking them over and ruining them. According to the custom of every year, Uncle William came to their house again with gifts in his hand. Breck and Sarah asked Uncle William to give them Christmas Eve gifts right there. They couldn't wait until the night. That's why Uncle William agreed and gave them the gifts. When Sarah and Robert opened the boxes, smiles of Satisfaction appeared on their lips again. Robert's gift was a warrior mouse queen that looked very natural. Robert was very happy and thanked Uncle William. Sarah also opened her gift and received a Nutcracker doll. Robert said, Wow, how ugly the star is. Sarah said, Beauty that is not what it looks like. Robert said, Uncle William said, Yes, Sarah is right. Beauty that is not only in appearance. Do you know why the Nutcracker has become like this? The children said in one voice, No, we don't know. Please tell us its story. Uncle agreed and started like this. Once upon a time, in a distant land, a beautiful queen ruled. The queen always cared a lot about the cleanliness of the palace. All the servants were obliged to keep everything clean. If anyone did otherwise, he would be severely reprimanded and punished by the queen. One day, one of the Servants got his foot stuck on the corner of the carpet and the food in his hand fell on the carpet. The Queen was very angry and said, How dare you destroy the beautiful face of my palace? Then he ordered the soldiers to arrest him and expel him from the palace. The maid, who had served the queen for many years in that palace, was very upset by the queen's behavior and said to her, How can you be so unfair? You only care about the appearance of your palace. You do not value the existence of other people. You only care about yourself and appearances. I curse you. After all these years of service to you, you are kicking me out of the palace because of a small mistake. After the servant cursed the queen, the queen's head began to grow. The servant said, this spell will remain on you forever until you can break the biggest and hardest hazelnut. Then he moved away from there and left. The queen was very upset about this incident. But there was nothing he could do. His face and head were very ugly and enlarged. And his nose was also very large. At this moment, one of the queen's loyal soldiers entered the palace. Ha! Huh. He went forward and took a hazelnut and broke it easily. Immediately, the queen's head returned to normal and her nose became smaller. The queen was very happy that she had returned to her normal state. But suddenly his head and nose started to grow. 
The spell had been transferred from the queen to the nutcracker. Seeing this scene, the queen immediately ordered to throw the nutcracker out of her palace. Even though Nutcracker had risked his life on the way of the queen, he saw a lot of unkindness from her. That's why he lowered his head and left the palace. Nutcracker has been waiting for years to find his true lover. It is at that time that his spell is invalidated and he can take the form of a beautiful prince. After the end of the story, Uncle William turned to Sarah and Robert and said, Well, this is also from the Nutcracker story. At this moment, Robert quickly jumped towards Sarah and took her doll from her and said, I want the Nutcracker to be mine. Sarah also pulled the doll and said, No, you can't take care of your own toys. You will ruin this doll too. But Robert didn't listen to her and pulled the doll. Suddenly, a puppet's hand was removed from its place, and everyone looked at the scene with sadness. Sarah, who was very upset, stuck the doll to herself. Robert, who did not like this to happen, started apologizing. Uncle William took the doll and put it in his hand and said, This doll needs magic. Tonight is a magical night. It would be nice to put this doll under the Christmas tree tonight to get its magic from the tree. They put the Nutcracker doll under the Christmas tree and went to their room to sleep. That night Sarah had strange dreams. He kept seeing the Nutcracker calling out to him. Sarah woke up and went downstairs. She was surprised to see that the Nutcracker had fallen under the tree. She rushed forward and picked him up and hugged him and fell asleep at the same time. Suddenly, Sarah saw that the Queen of Mice came towards her and raised her sword. She ordered her troops to attack. The mice attacked the Nutcracker and Sarah. Sarah, who had shrunk and was the same height as them, went towards them to save the Nutcracker's life, but the mice army surrounded Sarah. The Queen of Mice also ordered to attack Sarah. The Nutcracker hurried upstairs and told all the toys of Sarah to come to there. Egg. All the toys hurried downstairs and started fighting the mice army. Sarah's toys finally defeated the mice. Nutcracker came to Sarah and hugged her. At that moment, the Nutcracker turned into a beautiful princess and his spell was invalidated. Sarah was also very happy. At this moment, Uncle William's voice woke Sarah up. Sarah woke up and saw that the Nutcracker doll was in her hand and that she had dreamed all the events. Uncle William turned to him and said, What are you doing here? You mean you slept under the Christmas tree all night? The magic will surely work in you too. Sarah remembered all the events she had seen in her dream and a smile appeared on her lips. She was sure that one day the Nutcracker's spell would finally be cancelled and she was always waiting for that day. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs>